I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know already, with another Ron Sports Views. Today, we are reviewing Mexico versus Canada, or it was Canada versus Mexico, in the CONCACAF Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament Group B match. Canada wins 2-0 over Mexico. They win the group. They will move on to face Costa Rica in the semifinals on Friday night to see who, well, one, goes to Tokyo and goes to the Olympics, and two, goes to the final to face most likely the USA and lose the tournament but still go to Tokyo and be the sacrificial lamb to the U.S. because of reasons. Let's be honest. You all, you all know it. I know it. We all know it. If we make the final, we're getting curb stomped by the USA but hey we still made the Olympics so are we if we make the final we still made the Olympics so and barring a major screw up against Costa Rica which Canada even for the men or the women it's it's possible it's possible it's always possible for a screw up even when you have a really good chance of not screwing up you could still screw it up we make the Olympics anyway. I mean, Costa Rica should not be a problem. I don't even think they're as good as Mexico. They shouldn't be a problem, but then again... Yeah, that. It's always a possibility with Canada they screw up. But let's, let's talk about this Mexico game. Canada won the group. Means they face Costa Rica, the easier semifinal. Mexico would go on and face the USA. I'm so sorry, you're a good team. Mexico, you looked really good. I was surprised because I think they beat Mexico 4-0 at BMO Field, but I think those two other goals must have been the BMO Field effect because we all know BMO Field is a cathedral of football. We all know this. Whoever plays there at home has home field advantage. Toronto, Canada men, or Canada women, or anybody who plays at home at BMO Field has a home field advantage, unless you're the Toronto Argos, but it's not a cathedral of that type of football. <laughs> I'm an Argos fan. I just had to get that one in there. Let's be honest. Even Argos fans can see they deserve it. So, let's get let's get into this game. In the 26th minute, Christine Sinclair gets a ball pass to her in a, from across from Jade Riviere. She volleys it in, makes it 1-0, gets her 186th goal internationally. Makes that record go one higher. And yes, a Canadian woman is the best goal scorer and best female footballer ever. I know Americans hate that. At least we have that to hang our hats on. We may not have the trophies or the gold medals. But hey, at least we have the best woman's footballer ever. At least we have that to hang our hats on, don't we? 186 for Christine Sinclair. What a play. Great cross by Jade Riviere. Great volley by Christine Sinclair. She still got it in like five to like seven minutes before. She outran somebody who was like 20 in her early 20s and Christine Sinclair is 36. And she outran her. I was surprised to see that. Let's be honest. Uh, it was awesome, but I was a little bit shocked to see it at the same time, you know. But great for Christine Sinclair. She just keeps pushing that record up. And she outruns people as well. That are almost close to being half her age. Give or take a few years. You know? Give or take a few years. But you know what I mean. I guess Christine Sinclair is the female Tom Brady. I guess she must know something about the TB12 method. Just saying. Actually, she ain't even as old as Tom Brady. <laughs> crazy. Crazy, ain't it? Um, It's kind of crazy, you know? Just, just saying. Just saying. But yeah. And then, 45 plus 1, Shalina Z Zdorsky gets a ball passed to her from a corner kick. Popped up in the air. She volleys it from almost outside of the box. Scores. Makes it 2-0. That's the way it would stay for the rest of the game. Canada has a good couple more chances, especially late in the game. Jordan Heidema with a good chance, but it's basically swallowed up by the goalkeeper. Um, 
But Canada played well, but Mexico also played well as well. Because Mexico is good defensively, and they had some good attacks. They just didn't have the final ball. But Mexico looks like a good team. They look like they're building something in the women's game. That's a good thing, because in CONCACAF, the more the merrier. The more that you build to try to push the U.S. off their perch, I welcome it. I'd love it for I'd love it to be Canada. They still got Jordan Heidema, so at least there's a good person to be behind Christine Sinclair and be the next player, because Heidema's a good player. Everybody likes Jordan Heidema. She's a good striker, and she's actually basically in the same position Christine Sinclair was when she started. All, like, 16, 17. I know she's, like, 18. No, I think she's actually still 17, isn't she? Could have sworn I saw that. Technically, Alfonso's a nonce. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. It's a joke. If you're basically high school age, you're not really a nonce. But that's... We're, not here to de we're not here to debate that. We're not here to debate that. Point being is, is Jordan Hadema is still 17 and she's in the same position Christine Sinclair was when she started as a Canada women's player. Good thing to pass the torch to. Just say it. I'm in hot water, am I? I just can't stop getting myself in places where I could be canceled, can I? I can't. Accidental wasn't a joke, but it was a... Trying to get a scoop, but didn't realize what the hell was going on on the plane tracking app. Possible cancel. This. Possible cancel. I think I said something about J-Lo and Shakira in the halftime show in the Super Bowl video. Possible cancel. I really need to stop. I really need to stop, but when I get an editing software and get an actual good camera, you won't hear that part, but... When I'm one-shotting these things, it's possible. I'm sorry. I don't try, but whatever. Point being is, is Canada played a good game. Jordan Heidema is basically Christine Sinclair 2.0. And may not get the record, but you get my point. And Mexico looked good. Canada looked great. Mexico looked good. It was a better game than the first two. Canada win the group. They face Costa Rica. If they don't screw it up, they go to the Olympics. If they screw it up, it's another lol Canada moment when it comes to football. Like USA, Canada, and Orlando. Or Canada, Honduras. <laughs> San Pedro Sula. <laughs> Oh, Canada, Haiti. I need to stop ripping these scabs off, don't I? <laughs> uh, I need to stop before. I just need to stop. But yeah, great game to watch. It was a great game. I think Canada played well. Mexico also played well. I'm going to... I'm going to compliment them and it's kind of sad they're basically the sacrificial lamb for the USA because they're they're building something good but hey who knows maybe they'll hold the USA to like a 2-0 win and then you know what it is but oh oh before I say any before speaking of the USA uh Canada did better than the USA so far in this tournament 22 goals zero allowed they've won all three of their games they've scored more goals than the USA and they've kept three clean sheets as well they're just as good, if not better. Not that that means anything, because when we get to the final, we are going to get stomped by the USA. But at least until the final, we could say, hey, we scored more goals than you. We kept three clean sheets. We won three games. And I'm guessing it'll stay the same against Costa Rica. I don't know about the clean sheet thing, but at least we'll still possibly score more goals. Because they only have 18. We have 22. So, yeah. But, yeah. Canada played a good game. We're in the semis. We'll see what happens Friday. Not much to say. Not much to say. So, before I go, check out the Australian Fire Relief donation links in the description. If you can donate, whatever you can, either, well, there's a shirt store where the proceeds go or there's just the donation link. Whatever, whatever you could do helps. 
donate, check it out. You know what it is. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. They're, they have one foot in Tokyo. That's all it is. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.